are you talking to the right audience? Hi, this is Shushmita. I'm a painter, a graphic designer, and a copywriter. Fifty Shades of Creative is a compilation of my 12 years of, 12 years of experience in painting, graphic design, and copywriting. And here I am to make things simpler for you, easier for you, and to make sure that you don't make the mistakes I did. And today, let's talk about, are you talking to the right audience? Let's say, if you have children's products, or if you are selling children's products, if you are making children's food, are you talking to children? Babies, you will love, love it, come to the store, come to the store. Do you do that? Do you think the, one, uh, the products that you sell for are um, directly conveyed? to your customers or clients? Well, not always. The answer may be yes, but not always. And the most basic textbook example is if you are selling children's product, you talk to their parents. You don't talk to the children because they are not buying. Parents buy. If you are talking to students, you are, if you are selling something for students, you have to talk to their parents because they don't buy. Parents buy. If you are making something for the family, if you have a uh, let's say education channel for children you don't talk to children because they don't decide parents decide well after they decide on buying that you can talk to children let's say if somebody decides that their children should join animation program because they are okay if their children are learning animation after that you can talk to children and you can learn teach animation to that children to your target audience but before that to get approval from their parents is your first challenge so that was a textbook example when you were selling a product you need to know who is buying if any of you have watched Mad Men it's uh, an award-winning series based on advertising agency and you will learn the course of advertisement although if you are not in advertisement if you are an entrepreneur a startup or you are just starting your own business and you want to make things on your own this can be overwhelming so here I am to make it easier for you simpler for you and to make sure that you don't make any basic mistakes so when you talk to your client or customer one thing is you need to set your customer your clientele straight if you are baking if you are cooking you have to target women because women are more passionate towards baking and cooking because most of the women are prone to raising children and to make food for their family men do that occasionally you will find channel for men too and if you watch master master chef australia us you will see that they encourage men and women and so many men participate there but if you are a business and you have to if you are in business and you are selling your product or service you have to target precisely if you are targeting men you cannot say that baking for men i mean you can but you have to make precise tweaks that attract men let's say recipes for bachelors and most of the bachelor men even i would subscribe to that channel because even if it's for men men are fast men keep up with the pace and men are faster men are precise and oftentimes they don't notice what they're eating but men are also very passionate about eating the easiest way to a man's heart is through his tummy so what you do is you make precise tweaks that it is recipe for bachelors even though the baking recipes are same but you will have to talk to your customer like they matter to you if you are selling color pencils you can target children in that case you have to talk to their parents if you are selling it for artists you have to talk to the, the artists precisely those who are working with colors and you cannot just tell people that keep it in your office because people people even though every office has a set of color pencils that nobody use they they just buy it because out of impulse and trust me no office uses those color pencils this is how you talk to your audience so let's make an uh, let's take an example to make it uh, give it a form i am selling a book uh, on basic computer problems let's say your sound isn't working what you do you check your uh, sound button and uh, if you have a headphone uh, connected to your sound system oftentimes you will think that why isn't 
it making any sound maybe the sound box is broken it's not that oftentimes you forget that there is a headphone also uh, attached to the laptop or computer so i am selling a book that is precisely about these tech problems now i can talk to literally everyone because everyone has these troubles and it's you know out of impulse impulse people will buy they will buy just to see that oh i knew it i knew it i knew it uh, yeah i knew it who doesn't know that guess what people who are above 40 and they are they didn't grow up with tech and they are learning it from their children or their grandchildren they have these problems so what we do that don't bother your grandchildren anymore be a smart grandpa or a smart grandma or be the smartest mom be the coolest mom be the most popular amongst moms so we can do because if you say that uh, directly anyone can use it because these problems are faced by everyone everyone is not going to buy that even though they are going to buy that you cannot talk to everyone let's say if i am a speaker and i have the mic everyone is bound to listen but only five of them will pay attention and they will have a difference your target is to talk to the, those five people and then when you talk other hundred people will listen but it won't matter to them your target is those five people now that i'm making a video and i always say that i treat my audience like my first date and there will be people who would be watching it they will be annoyed you are not my audience and you can stop watching but people who i care about i am mentioning repeatedly they know what i'm talking about and i i know that some people obviously will be helped this is why i'm making that this channel and this is why i'm sharing my knowledge and this is how you should be selling your program and you should be selling your business by talking to the right people if you are selling lipstick you cannot talk to children you cannot talk to children that buy this on mother's day because children don't associate their mother with lipstick they associate with more loving things more giving and caring things what you can do you can target men buy this for your girlfriend buy this for your wife because men you know it will be an impulse and yeah this will be a very smart marketing and some have already done it but i if you are of course you can try this if you are a startup if you are starting your business if you are an entrepreneur and you are doing everything on your own i do not suggest that you try with these crazy creative ideas if you are already in business if you are already a designer and you want to write your own copies yes you can experiment after a while after you have a after you have an established clientele then you can try this i do not suggest crazy creative ideas at the very beginning and trust me this is one of the mistakes i make and that is why i strongly suggest that you do not do this i am not saying that you never do this i am saying not at the very beginning you can you know once uh, if you are introduced with someone at the very beginning if you start saying crazy jokes you scare away people what you do you are very polite at first you make friendship then you love then you share interest and at one point you two share same interest and when you make joke that person understands and you love together it's the same thing with your clients with your audience so i hope i made my point and i hope this video helped if you have any question let me know in the comment section and where you are tuning in from uh, how i can help you more and more and more just let me know in the comment section i promise that i will be back and i will help you and by the way there were two weeks that i didn't post any video in this channel because i posted only on soundcloud so don't forget to subscribe to follow 50 shades of creative on soundcloud because sometimes i had some technical difficulty and i couldn't upload that video on youtube so i had to upload the audio on soundcloud so don't forget to uh, subscribe and don't forget to turn on that notification from soundcloud so i don't want you to miss anything it's because uh, yeah, you're my first date. And I love you a lot.